Uh, dear Professor Farnholt, uh, distinguished guest excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as the director of the Global Warming Policy Foundation, uh, it's my great pleasure to welcome you here tonight uh, to the third annual GWPF lecture. Uh, I'm particularly honored to welcome Professor Farnholt, who has traveled here from the Ruhrgebiet, one of the industrial heartlands uh, of Germany. In recent months, uh, Fritz Fahrenholt uh, has made headlines around the world because of his brilliant new book, Die Kalte Sonne, The Cold Sun, and the subtitle of his German bestseller gives away uh, much of the gist of his lecture tonight. It's called Why the Climate Catastrophe Will Not Occur. And we'll hear why he has come to this conclusion tonight. Admittedly, most people in the English-speaking world have never heard of Fritz Farnholt, but for most German people, he has been a public figure since the late 1970s. Of course, neither Helmut Schmidt nor Fritz Farnholt questioned the basic science uh, of the greenhouse effect. What both of them share is a deep concern for scientific credibility, for moderation and objectivity that has been woefully lacking in the climate debate for far too long. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our distinguished speaker, Professor Fritz Farnholt. Dear Benny, thank you very much. Dear Lord Lawson, uh, I'm very delighted to be here. Um, but you know, know it is a big sacrifice to be here and uh, have this lecture because, you know, in uh, half an hour uh, Germany <laughs> is playing against uh, uh, our neighbors, uh, the Dutch. And uh, therefore, maybe if I am a little bit nervous uh, after an hour, um, please excuse me for that. Okay, so um, Benny had told us, to told you uh, a little bit about uh, my experience in the last, uh, uh, let's say, uh, months. Uh, when you read on Wikipedia five years, uh, five months ago, before the book was published. I was a hero of the Green Movement and now uh, a doubtful scientist. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I, I anticipated that. That, uh, that is uh, something where uh, I'm not alone, that um, if you take um, the um, fight with uh, ideological uh, positions, uh, you uh, Use, uh, you, you have to be, get used to it, the utilities. But we have now calculated this way, that is, means 70 euro cent per, per kilowatt hour, if you do this, because, you know, I'm a chemist. If you take hydrogen and put it with CO2 together, they don't like each other. <laughs> <laughs> have to put a lot of stress on them, and that means energy, and that means cost. And it's 70 euro cent on top to a price which is produced by wind, let's say, six euros, and the wind itself is very cheap, yeah. We have competitive prices by wind, but if you have to store him, then you go up to this. You can do that by pump storage, yes. In, uh, in Germany we have those uh, facilities. That is seven euros, cent, but even seven euros cent is a lot, uh, I tell you. But it is also a matter of capacity. So we have now made a calculation. In an 80 percent uh, that is the target of the government, and I think UK has also the same target, 80% of renewables in 2050. If we have that, and we have 10 days period with no wind, sometimes in the, in the year, in, in England that is, I think, a little bit uh, lower the probability, but we have that. And that means uh, we have then uh, to provide the system with no 9 terawatt hours, uh, which are not there because the wind is not there. And so we have to store it. So what we did is the calculation. We need 200 times the storage what we have today. So 
you say, oh, okay, 200, uh, Germany is big, they can afford it. But give you uh, only an illustration of that. You, you may know the Bodensee, that is the uh, Constance Lake, I think in, in, in English is the right word, and that is the big lake, you know, between Constance and Überling, it's, it's uh, one of the biggest lakes, I think it's the biggest lake of, of uh, Europe. And uh, if you, and it's 100 meter deep, yeah? And if you put it on the Zugspitze, this is 2,900 meter high, and let it go down, then you have the electricity for 10 days. <laughs> uh, this on, only can develop if we have achieved the first revolution of our minds, that not the mankind is creating climate, it's the sun, stupid. Thank you very much. Thank you.